Hello champions, it's finally the day of your examination. I will not take too much time of yours, max to max 10 to 15 minutes. I just want to let you guys know about 10 silly mistake areas, 10 areas that are prone to silly mistakes so that you can be a little more aware in your examination this afternoon. And I also want to give you that last minute motivation, that last minute pep talk before you walk into the examination hall this afternoon. So point number one, let me tell you the silly mistake areas first. Point number one, don't forget to round off your total income and your tax number guys. Total income and tax both have to be rounded off to the nearest multiple of 10. Point number two, if you're doing tax computation under the normal regime, don't forget to check whether AMT is applicable or not because examiner will not always tell you that also compute AMT, he will not always tell you that. So be smart enough to check whether AMT is applicable or not. Then point number three, uh, when you're computing your total income, remember to split your GTI between normal rate income and special rate income because you know very well that chapter 6A cannot be enjoyed against special rate income. And special rate income is not only capital gains, don't forget to go into your IFOS uh, working out and see in your IFOS working out if you have written any lottery income, any casual income over there because even that will become special rate income. Okay. Then point number four, whatever in, in depreciation uh, calculations and all, whatever interest a SESI has incurred till the asset is put to use, before that whatever interest has been incurred, remember to capitalize that interest but don't just capitalize it. Also remove to disallow that interest from your PGBP calculation. Okay. Which interest? Whatever interest is incurred by the SESI till the asset is put to use. That interest two adjustments. Number one, it will be disallowed from PGBP and number two, it has to be capitalized. That is, it has to be added back to the, it has to be added to the block. Okay. Then point number five, if a SESI is having royalty income, immediately ATQQB and ATRRB will come to your mind. But don't do just that. Also remember to tax a royalty income under the IFOS head. Okay. Then your sixth reminder, if a SESI is having exempt agricultural income and if they're asking you to compute tax, don't forget to do the partial integration method in that case for tax computation. Okay. Then in PGBP computation, we have section 40A subsection 3. 40A subsection 3 says, listen, assessee, if you are incurring an expense and if you have to make payment of the expense, if the payment is more than 10,000 rupees, you have to make the payment in specified mode. But however, if the expense is transportation expense or if the expense is freight expense, then if the expense is more than 35,000 rupees, then you have to make the payment in specified mode. Okay. And if it is retirement benefit, then if the, then the limit is 50,000 rupees. If you're making payment of more than 50,000 rupees, then you have to make the payment in specified mode. Three limits you have in 40 a subsection 3. Okay, keep this in mind. Now, coming to one last point, section 139 subsection 1 date, 3 139 subsection 1 due dates you have guys. Number one, you will try 30th November 2025. Now, this will apply for transfer pricing assessees, assessees who have specified domestic and international transactions. If this date is not applicable for you, then you will try 31st October 2025. 31st October 2025, number one will apply for all companies. Number two, it will apply for all audit assessees. Then number three, if let's say assessee is a firm or an LLP for which let's say tax audit is applicable. Now, now for that firm or LLP, the 139 one date will be 31st October. Why? Because of point number two, guys, audit assessee. Now this firm, all the partners of this firm, whether active partners, whether sleeping partner, doesn't matter. For the partners also, the 139 one date will be 31st October 25. Okay. And for in all other cases, the 139 one date will be 31st July 2025. So these were eight silly mistake areas. Then uh, I also want to give you one very quick reminder about AMT, guys. See, an uh, alternate minimum uh, tax. First of all, when will assessee when, when will you even think about doing this computation? Only if three conditions are fulfilled. Condition number one, a SESI must be either having 10 AA or a SESI must be having chapter 6A part C or a SESI must be having section 35 AD. At least one out of these three, a SESI must be having any one out of these three. Okay. Then condition number two, the adjusted total income of the SESI has to be more than 20 lakh rupees. And condition number three, a SESI must be following the normal regime. Only if all these three conditions are fulfilled, only then you will be doing AMT computation. Now, if a SESI is following 115 BAC, then no AMT. Okay. Then what is the meaning of adjusted total income? Adjusted total income means you will take the total income number which you have calculated as per the normal provisions. Uh, from the, uh, to that, you will add back the 10 AA tax holiday. Then you will add back your chapter 6A part C and then you will also add back your uh, section 35 AD deduction. Then on the 35 AD asset, you will remember to claim depreciation. So whatever net number you get, this becomes your adjusted total income. Three chapter 6A part C sections you have in your syllabus, 80 AA, 80 QQB and 80 RRB. Okay. So if all these three conditions are full 
benefit that is if assess is having 10 double a or chapter 6a part c or 35 ad and assess is adjusted total income is more than 20 lakh rupees and assess is following the normal regime if all these three conditions are fulfilled then amt will apply for the assess at the rate of 18.5 percent okay and don't forget you will have to pay amt or normal income tax whatever you have calculated whichever is higher okay and in case amt is higher then the difference between these two numbers will become amt credit and amt credit will have a life of how many years it will have a life of 15 years okay now in these 15 years in any of these 15 years if normal income tax is higher then you will pay normal income tax against this normal income tax you can adjust amt credit but don't forget even in that case you can't adjust amt credit fully how much maximum you can adjust only to the extent of the difference between normal income tax and amt only to the extent of this difference that much only you can adjust okay so this was about your this was a, like a very quick brush up about amt just before your examination today then come section 10 AA. one last reminder guys this is section 10 AA, five conditions have to be fulfilled assessee must be having a unit in sez okay and in this unit assessee must either be manufacturing goods or assessee must be rendering services then condition number three manufacturing services whatever assessee must have commenced this work on or before 31st march 2020 but however if assessee has obtained the letter of approval by 31st march 2020 in that case assessee is allowed to commence manufacturing by 31st march 2021 also okay then comes condition number four assessee must be following the normal regime and condition number five assessee must have filed itr on time okay so only if all these five conditions are fulfilled only then assessee can enjoy 10 double tax holiday which means if assessee files itr late then no 10 double tax holiday if assessee is following default regime then also no 10 double tax holiday now let's say all these five conditions are fulfilled which means you will compute 10 double guys now how will you do the computation what's your formula your formula is net profit into export turnover by total turnover into percentage this is how you will calculate guys now here remember net profit is nothing but whatever is a pgpp of your 10 uh, whatever is the pgpp of your sez unit okay then what will be your percentage the percentage will depend upon which year are you calculating for in the first five years the percentage will be 100 percent next five years 50 percent and the last five years 50 percent or whatever you're transferring into sez reinvestment reserve whichever is lesser okay then remember when you're calculating this export turnover two things you have to keep in mind number one export turnover should not include freight okay and this freight point is there in total turnover also the total turnover should not include include freight then for export turnover one more point you have this export turnover has to be realized and it has to be repatriated to india within six months from the end of the previous year that means the export turnover has to be realized and it has to be repatriated to india by 30th september 2025 if it is brought to india after this date then you will not consider that part as export turnover okay so section 10 double tax holiday will be whatever is your pgbp number that pgbp of the sez unit that into export turnover by total turnover into percentage export turnover should not include freight also you will take only that part of export turnover which has been realized and repatriated to india within six months from the end of the previous year and the export turnover total turnover both should not include freight okay and then remember the percentages as well that's all so these were the 10 silly mistake areas i wanted to remind you of so that you can be a little more aware during your three hours today now listen to me one last pep talk and then i'm closing two points for before the exam three points for during the exam and one manifestation listen to me now before the examination right now you are trying to learn things at a very fast pace you are trying to cover as much as possible you are uh, trying to you know even if you're watching a youtube video you're watching at 2x speed and you are feeling like time is still flying you're thinking i'm trying to do so fast but still time is flying so right now you are in a very fast pace and you might be feeling that uh, you're, get, you're getting out of breath you might be feeling at some points that you're trying to you know learn so fast that you're getting out of breath now at one o'clock you slow down at one o'clock how much ever is done be content close your books or just you know slow down whatever whatever preparation you have to do after one for one to one thirty whatever you have planned and kept you will do it at a slow pace why a tiger before the tiger attacks the tiger first takes a step back and then the tiger attacks then the tiger jumps same way even you you need a step back before you attack the question paper at 145 you need a small step back because otherwise guys in the same fast pace in which you're thinking right now in this space if you enter into the examination hall you will get anxious in though in that examination hall so therefore you will slow down at 1 pm okay 1 pm to 1 30 pm whatever you have planned and kept it will be done slowly all right then right now you might think that ma'am there's so much tension i have so many chapters left 
to do i haven't even touched this yet i haven't even done this till now how will i do how will i cover everything i have still so much left to do you might be panicking right now you might be getting nervous right now you might be getting tensed right now it's fine instead of panicking instead of getting tensed tell yourself i know it all tell yourself i remember it all because understand guys in these 1.5 days how much ever you've prepared yes it will help you in the examination this afternoon but how you perform in this afternoon does not depend just upon your 1.5 days preparation instead how you prepared this afternoon depends upon all the hard work that you have done already in the months of november and december that hard work has not gone to waste you might think right now ma'am i forgot everything you didn't forget it is there in your mind at the right point of time in the examination everything will come to your mind it is all there in your subconscious memory okay so it's okay it's okay if everything could not get completed it's fine how much ever is possible see you would still have some 2 3 hours now in these 2 3 hours how much ever you see now is a bonus only right whatever you are able to grasp whatever you are able to revise in these next few hours it's a bonus so how much ever gets done be content be satisfied it is okay all right now so these were two points before the exam now during the examination you're looking at the question paper you realized i don't know one adjustment it's okay you realize i don't know one question it is okay you want 100 out of 100 you don't want 100 out of 100 so what if you don't know one question you know everything else focus on that so just because you don't know one question it's okay don't get panicked in the examination because of that not worth it keep moving on focus on what you know okay if the paper let's let's say you have a look at the question paper and you realize the question paper is very difficult it is fine it is okay when the when you realize the question paper is difficult you will start panicking when you start panicking you will immediately change your perspective what does it mean you have prepared so much okay is it even possible for there is it even possible for a situation to arise where you don't know anything in the question paper is it even possible guys you yourself tell me it is not possible right you have worked so hard something at least you will know in the question paper so in case by chance you realize the question paper is really difficult and if you realize you are starting to panic first of all realize that you are panicking and then change your perspective what am i talking about what do i mean by changing perspective changing perspective means stop focusing on what you don't know in the question paper start focusing on what you know even if the question paper is difficult guys one part of it only will be difficult whole question paper will not be difficult you will still have questions which you know very well you will still have mcqs which you know very well so stop focusing on what you don't know stop panicking about what you don't know and start focusing on what you know start performing what you know that itself will give you one direction okay remember this 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 is this is like one pro tip before your examination today and lastly one small manifestation repeat with me i worked hard and now i am ready repeat once again with me i worked hard and now i am ready if you have a piece of paper write with me i worked hard and now i am ready if you don't have a piece of paper put in the comments below i worked hard and now i am ready repeat it out loud one last time i worked hard and now i am ready all the best guys you are going to do really really well just go out there and give your best performance and come out nice and proud of yourself all the best bye bye